Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. America has reached the point of all this polarization and nastiness for one reason, because we as a nation never had the debate over which religion is the right one. And by right, we mean true. And let's face it, only one religion can be true since they all hold contradictory beliefs. But in America, owing to the Freemasonic, idiotic, evil ideas of liberty and equality, religion is treated as nothing else than a matter of personal opinion, as though there were no objective truth involved here. What's your opinion? Oh, that's nice. I believe something completely different. Have a nice day. You go your way, and I'll go mine. What a complete societal insanity, which leads to the current cultural suicide we are undergoing. If there is a God, yeah, then of course one religion is right, which means logically all the others are wrong. What remains is to determine which one is right. This vortex presumes you aren't stupid enough to be an atheist and do in fact believe in the existence of God. Okay, given that God exists, then a whole series of questions follow from that single fact, just as questions follow from every established fact. Questions like, what is the nature of God? How does the divinity operate within itself? Answers to these questions are revealed in looking at the attributes of God, things we can and do know about God. God is not so mysterious that we can know nothing. In fact, just with our intellects, we can know quite a bit. We know that God must be eternal. It's sort of the definition, at least in part, of being God. Something eternal must therefore, by logic, be the very essence of existence. To exist is to be, and to be is to exist. But if something has always been, then it must be existence itself. Since we humans exist, must have not always existed, then we are not existence itself, but we participate in existence, in being. St. Paul put it eloquently when he quoted a Greek poet to the Greeks in Athens. In him we live and move and have our being. God is existence. God is a being. He is that which simply is. This is what he confirmed of himself from the burning bush when Moses asked him his name. I am, came the response. I am who am. Only God could give that answer. The eternal being, therefore, possesses all that he needs within himself. He needs absolutely nothing. This makes him perfect, all-powerful, all-knowing. And since he needs nothing, then the question of creation becomes a very revealing question. Why did a being that needs nothing create? It adds nothing to his own perfection. So why do I exist? Why do you exist? Why did da Vinci paint the Mona Lisa? Why did Michelangelo sculpt? They didn't need to, at least in the true sense of necessity, meaning they wouldn't have died if they didn't. But in another sense, yes, they did need to because it was their nature to bring to reality the beauty they saw in their souls. Why does God create? He doesn't need to in the same sense that he would die if he didn't, but he also needed to bring forth his own beauty. It is his nature. Consider the case of us humans. There was an entire history that pre-existed every individual. We had no existence whatsoever, and now suddenly, out of nothing, we suddenly appear in time and space. Why? Science, for example, can tell us how, but it cannot even begin to approach the questions of why. Why am I here? Why are you here? It's not a scientific question. It's completely outside of the jurisdiction of science, as a matter of fact. It falls to the jurisdiction of the spiritual, the philosophical, ultimately the theological. The existence of God, the infinite, everlasting, perfect, all-knowing, all-powerful God, is summed up in what Catholics call the doxology. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever will be, world without end. Only the Catholic faith is the true religion, no other. It is only to the Catholic Church that has the fullness of truth been revealed because the Catholic Church is the direct and immediate presence of this eternal God 
on this earth in this material creation. It's very simple. One religion is right, all the others are wrong. Now, they may have sincere, well-meaning adherence, but sincerity, however deep, does not make a wrong into a right. No religion on the face of the earth or in the annals of human history carries with it the intellectual heft of Catholicism. That's because no other religion is so intensely committed to the truth because no other religion had or has truth himself as its founder. This is why we here at Church Milton have committed ourselves to the propagation of Catholic truth and have made catechesis and evangelization the focus of our more than 1,000 hours of videos and programming, which are all available to premium subscribers for just a paltry $10 a month. We cover practically every known area of the faith that you can think of, and many subscribers, many subscribers, have told us they have grown considerably deeper in their love of the faith and have even converted to the faith because of the shows on the premium channel. It costs a lot of money to run this sort of enterprise because nothing is more expensive, believe me, than television and video costs. Every little component from computers and monitors and the software for editing and professional microphones and lighting panels and control room equipment, not to mention everything we have to keep up and running every day to ensure continual optimal capacity, this kind of work costs a small fortune, slightly more than $2 million last year. Your becoming a premium member obviously benefits us and being able to stay in operation, but mostly benefits you because of the ease with which you can learn about the glories of the faith. So many Catholics today fall completely silent in the face of people who treat religion as an opinion and not an imperative, an actual objective reality that needs to be studied to arrive at which one is right. Here's something to ponder. At the end of time, the entire human race will be collected before the throne of Jesus Christ and it will be known then which religion was the only legitimate one. But for those who had ignored it, it will be too late. Our duty before that last day is to try and help as many souls as possible come to the reality of the Catholic faith. Our own judgments will be meted out on how diligently we tried to do this while still here on earth. So please click on the link to become a premium member. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.